Great Pawn Shop Find, Senko, Durspin, DS300AC, Screw Gun. We're going to talk about it, how I found it, and we'll find out if it works coming up. I'm Roger, welcome to the shop, and uh, I was at a pawn shop looking actually for a drywall lift, uh, renovation house, if you've seen any of those videos, I've got some sheetrock to do in the ceiling, and of course since I work by myself about 90% of the time, I can't really hold that up there by myself, drywall lift's a great thing, and yes you can rent them, they're I think $12 for the first four hours and a dollar fifteen hour after that, but yeah, I was trying to find a used one, or maybe I'll just even break down and buy a new one. I can always resell it when the whole project's done. But while in the pawn shop, they had a big clearance table set up with a whole bunch of things on it. It says price is marked, reasonable offers accepted. So I'm looking at this here Senko screw gun, it's DS300. Uh, it has an extension handle on it. It's usually made for uh, working on a you know, shoot screws into a ceiling, or ideally it's for decking and subfloors. And I do have some subfloors to do, and I didn't really need this. But, after looking at it, and I'll open this up here in a second, it looks almost like new, had very, very little use, but I could not understand why it was marked down from original price was 114 and that was in uh, September 9th of 2017. So this pawn shop has had this for three years. It's been marked down and down and down, and then to fit finally to the clearance of 50, and nobody bought it. And they crossed that off and made 20. Nobody bought it. Sitting on the table, you know, reasonable offers accepted. And I found the guy, and I says, Well, would you take $10 for it? He goes, Sure. I says, Can I plug it in first to make sure it works? No. $10, it's yours as is. Well, okay, I've looked it over, I thought of nothing else, I could always part it out or fix it if it needed to be fixed, but for 10 bucks, yep, brought it home, and I played with it a little bit, made sure it ran, and it does run. So I'll open this thing up here and I'll show you what I got for $10. So here we are. And like I said, it's just almost like new, a little part of a thing of screws. It's got all the manuals with it, it's got all the tools with it. And it literally looks like new. And if you have never seen one of these before, they're made for, like if you're working on a ceiling, to shoot screws up. And if you are vertically challenged, there's a couple levers here, and you can extend this, and now you're got all kinds of space to do whatever you need to do and this is adjustable There's several different lengths in here I've used one of these before so I am familiar with them and if you've never seen one before to load one of these and these are actually screws for sheetrock and I'll probably be doing subfloor but I'll show you how to load this just slide the collated screws in little track in the back there this one's kind of gnarled up but it does slide in Get around here to the front, and you'll hear a click each time it indexes. So there's the next click, and there's a screw loaded right there. And these, yeah, it's set for inch and five eighths. Those look like inch and five eighths screws. Plug this thing in. Obviously it does work, uh, find something to shoot a screw into. Maybe the ceiling. Extend the handle here just a little bit so I don't have to reach up quite so far. Just like that, sets it and countersinks it. And there's a trigger lock on here if you want it to run continuously. And, just, and you would just keep going. And if, uh, let me shrink this down, get the camera repositioned again. Okay, obviously you can't put this in the case with the screws in it because it won't fit. To uh, unload it, 
just uh, grab hold of the end here where the plastic is and just pull the strip right out. Same way when you change screws. Now I'll get into a little bit now that I got the camera zoomed down. On the end down here in the nose piece are different settings and you uh, take this Allen head uh, bolt out and you can extend this to whatever uh, length screw you have. This will shoot from inch and a quarter to three inch and I'm going to have to of course buy a bucket of collated screws for when I do the subfloors. This is going to be a great deal for it because I won't have to do all that bending over or crawling around on my knees screwing subfloor down. I can stand up and walk around. There's also a countersink adjustment right here where you can adjust the, how far it countersinks the screw when it sets it which is especially handy when you're doing drywall so you don't over over screw them and of course with the subfloor you want to make sure they're countersunk so that your uh, floor covering is not up, set up. But I think it's a great deal. Also there is a, I'll mention too, there's a bit release right here. You pull this back, you can take the bit out. It came with a bunch of extra bits, brand new ones. So I uh, couldn't pass it up for 10 bucks. And pull the sticker off here. It says original price $114 from September 9th of 2017. I don't really know why they ended up with it that long and nobody snagged this up even when it was marked down to uh, $30 or even the $20 one. And everything fits right back in the case. Yeah, I'm fooling around with one of the stickers here and I can kind of read what's underneath it. Uh, like I said, the original price was $114 and then uh, the way a lot of pawn shops work, they have these tags on and it'll tell you at this date it's going to be this price and if it's still there at this date it'll be this price. The price keeps going down. Uh, I said originally it's from September of 2017 and here it is December 23rd of 2020. So uh, as it marked down it went from 114 to 91 to 80 to 68 to 57. Then it was put on clearance of 30 and that was marked down again to 20. And it just sat there and sat there and sat there and ended up on the uh, clearance bench making us an offer. So this is probably one of my best pawn shop finds anywhere. Uh, I've been to a lot of different ones, uh, yard sales, estate sales. I find some great deals from time to time. And you can too if you're looking for them. Just got to get out there and look around. Uh, other than that, that's my little review of this uh, $10 Pawn Shop Senko Duraspin DS300 AC. The AC means you have to plug it in. There's probably a battery operated one too, but uh, this will work just fine and it's certainly worth the 10 bucks. So if you got something out of this or liked it, appreciate getting that thumbs up. Of course, always looking for subscribers. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Ring that bell, you'll be notified when I post another video. I'm Roger in the shop. See you on the next one.